What's up YouTube, this is DBZ439 coming at you with another deck profile. This time is Blue Ice uh, Chaos Max with Necroz. Um, I know you guys really like my other deck profiles and I had a lot of comments about me reposting it. Uh, so here it is. Um, it, it's been through some changes since the last time, but not too much. But we'll get into that. Um, so without any further ado, let's get into it. So first off... You want to play, obviously, the Triple Chaos Max. This is not like, uh, obviously, this is Chaos Max Necroz, where there's a lot of other Chaos Max builds out there that I looked at. There's basically like a Blue Eyes deck, but then they just splash this in. This deck is basically Chaos Max Turbo, and you use the Necroz engine to get to Chaos Max. So, um, again, this card is a really great card. 4K beat stick, can be targeted, can be destroyed. So this card is a perfect counter to uh, Zodiac Dryden, for example, which is really rampant right now. Um, so I really like this card. And as a side note, this deck, I think, in my opinion, will be good in Lynx. The only thing about Lynx that hurts this deck is that Lynx don't have defense, and they therefore they can't go to defense mode. So you can't double piercing them, which is one of the main OTK factors for this card. But I, I still feel this deck will be really strong with Chaos Max going to Link format. Okay, so that's all the, you know, non-Necroz rituals. For the Necroz rituals, we have uh, Uni, Brio, and Trish. Um, uh, these two are on the ban list at one, so you can only play them at one. That's what I'm hoping for at some point. If they come off the list, I'm definitely going to bump these up. This basically searches any Necroz card you want, any Necroz monster. This is basically a skill drain for extra deck monsters on legs, and it also gets you a search essentially if you collido with uh, the Herald of Arclight. And Trish is Trish. This is really fun to pull off and make your opponent basically go neg three if it resolves. But again, you know, strikes are running around, so it's really hard to resolve that, but still a really great card. Uh, last of the one of Necroz, I run one Decisive Armor. Now, Decisive Armor is a really uh, spicy tech, I'd say. Um, I definitely cited out games two and three, but uh, the only, uh, I like it because it can give like your smaller Necroz monsters a pump. It's like an honest. Like you can make Coloss uh, 22 and make Bri uh, sorry Uni like 33, which is actually good because you can get over Masterpiece with Diagram on board. You can also run any other hand trap, but this basically is my replacement for Maxi. This is one of the hits to the deck, but uh, Decisive Armor is um, okay, in my opinion. Oh, another funny thing about this card is it's actually searchable off the Melody of Awakening Dragon, so that's another thing you can do. Um, so that's that's it for the one of Necroz. And the last of the Necroz Rituals is uh, Triple Colossus. Uh, you need to run this so you can see your Necroz Ritual spells as fast as you can. Also, if you open up with two of them, you can pitch one for Mirror, and use the mirror to bring out the other one in hand by banishing one you just pitched. So I like uh, Colossus at 3. Okay, that's it for the rituals. For the, for the non-rituals, you have to run Triple Blue Eyes White Dragon. Because uh, it's basically your um, melody target. It's your um, a revival target, traded target. And most importantly, it's your advanced ritual art target. So you need to run Triple Blue Eyes. Uh, the other monsters we run are Triple Manju, searches any ritual monster or spell. Triple Senju, searches any ritual monster. And then for the last of the monster, one Maxi, because Maxi is arguably the best hand trap in the game. Okay, that's it for the monsters. That's 20 monsters. It's 10 rituals and 10 non rituals. For the spells, I run 20. Uh, I run Triple Melody. Uh, you want to see Chaos Max as fast as you can, so you run three of this. You can also search out a Blue Eyes if you want to trade it in, for example. I like doing that pretty often. And then once Blue Eyes is in the grave, you can bring it back with uh, Return of the Dragon Lords. Um, the cool thing is, like, a lot of people try to kill Chaos Max through battle, mostly through the Lightning. And you can banish this in grave, and this bypasses Lightning's effect to negate and damage step. So that's really nice. Um, last of the three ofs is uh, Advanced Ritual Art. You have to run this at three. I don't want to say this got recently off the ban list, but it got off, you know, within the last year, I want to say. And this card is really good because it's an instant. If you have this and Chaos Max, it's an instant Chaos Max, provided you have Blue Eyes, White Dragon, and Deck. Uh, last of the Ritual Spells, I run two, two Decroz Ritual Spells, one Kaleido for the um, Herald of Arclight play, one Mirror for, like, the Trish play or even Kloss play, and then one Chaos Form just in case, you know, you've, run out of blue eyes and deck they're probably in grave so you can just use this to bring out a chaos max um another change to the deck was these two 
I used to run two Kaleido, then I cut one for Dark Hole, and I used to run Vanity's Emptiness, and I cut it for Dark Hole. The reason why I like Dark Hole, and I, another thing I was considering was Quaking, but the reason why I like Dark Hole instead of Quaking is because, like, Quaking is going to be bad when Links come out. And, uh, quaking in, gen in general is good, like, especially right now, but I was just thinking long-term, I feel like Dark Hole is a better option. Dark Hole just clears uh, bo uh, the board, and you can, like, stop problem monsters, and, you know, unbreakable boards turn one, so that's really nice. Um, and then these, uh, now I'm running Twin Twisters. Before, I used to run uh, Concealing Light. Again, it's, like, another defense changing, so I don't like it in Link's format when Link starts to get more spammy, but, and, and um, back row really hurts your deck. Uh, for example, people like to Quaking my Chaos Max, or Quaking the Chaos Max, and at that point, you're kind of screwed because you have this big body with zero defense, and they can just run over with anything. And last spell is uh, one Preparation Rise card is the Nuts. Um, if you open it, it's like an instant unicorn. It lets you recycle any ritual spell from Grave and lets you search pretty much um, uh, Brio, Uni, or Claws. Alright, so that's the deck. Again, it's 20 spells, 20 monsters. Let's quickly go through the side deck. Uh, I run Double Ghost Ogre. Uh, arguably, well, not arguably, one of the best hand traps. One of the best like budget hand traps, I'd say. Uh, gets rid of Floodgates, uh, gets rid of uh, Field Spells. Uh, next, two Flying Sea. These two are going to come out once Links come around because they can just sack it for Link Monsters. But it's really it's really funny if, you know, you give them a Flying Sea against, like, a Zodiac player, provided they don't have Barrage, but you give them to a Zodiac player uh, and it sticks around when, when your turn comes around. You can attack it in defense with Chaos Max and it does like 66 damage, which is awesome. Uh, run double Lancia for, again, like grass decks, but that's not going to be relevant in the next month once the new ban list takes an effect. I also side in the Kaiju Engine, so one Sticky String, one Gardala, one Doggeran, and one Game Seal. Uh, these three are level 8, so they run they, they work really well with Traden. And Kamungus is like another small kaiju to run over with. And obviously to pair them up, you have to run the double uh, slumber. Uh, and to round off my side deck, I run triple decree because again, back row is a problem. And this is really good against paleo. So uh, I feel like decree is a pretty good side. All right, quickly on to the extra deck. Uh, we run one uh, blue eyes ultimate dragon. Um, it's really funny because people are like, why, why are you running ultimate dragon? Well, you can technically use Kaleido to send the ultimate to summon Trish and Coloss. It happens rarely, but it can happen. And extra deck is not really a problem for this deck. Like, you don't really access it that much because you're usually going to set on uni. So it's it's really just a bunch of rank 8s and rank 4s and, and this uh, ultimate dragon. And one synchro, but we'll get to that. Uh, for the rank 8s, one full armor, uh, one prime photon, one cypher dragon, one galaxy eyes tachyon dragon, one uh, divine dragonite felgrand, and one um, number 38, Hope Harbinger, for spells. Uh, that's it for the rank 8s. For the rank 4s, uh, one Dark Rebellion, one Karagorgon, good for Paleos, one Castell, one Samurai, one Cowboy, one Roach, and one Dweller. Uh, that's it for the rank 4s. Again, it's like, it, it, you really don't go into them, except I'd say Cowboy for game, because if you have... Uh, uh, send you a Unicorn and a Chaos Max that's like 77 on board, so then... You need 800, so you go Cowboy with Uni and uh, Senju Romanju. And the last monster, which I'd ar argue this is the best extra deck card you have, which you need to run, it's one Herald of Arclight. It basically allows you to summon Unicor using Kaleido, and you get a free search, which is amazing. All right, YouTube, that's my deck profile for Blue Eyes Chaos Max. I know it's been a while since I posted the other one, so uh, I really wanted to get, get back to you guys with an update deck profile. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions or even questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. I love, I love to hear your opinions. And uh, thanks again for watching. Have a nice day.